watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. COVID-19 positivity rate in the national capital region has increased to 11.5%. Okta Research forecasts up to 1,000 new cases on Thursday. Meanwhile, the NCR's hospitalization rate went up to 30.2% with 1,856 hospital beds occupied. The intensive care unit in Metro Manila also slightly increased to 22.6%, but both are still within the safe levels. Social Welfare Secretary Erwin Tulfo personally received in his office a 103-year old grandmother from Antipolo City who has not yet received her benefit from the implementation of the Centenarians Act. The old lady, Estelita Aliones, was accompanied by her daughter and granddaughter. Lola Aliones sought help from Secretary Tulfo, who responded immediately. Lola Aliones is scheduled to receive her 100,000 cash benefit today, July 14. Senator Risa Ontiveros on Thursday urged the executive branch to sign into law now the anti-online sexual abuse and exploitation of children bill. Ontiveros noted the urgent need for the signing of the measure as she shared screenshots of social media users sharing tips on how to persuade minors into having sexual activity. Ontiveros filed Senate Bill No. 2068 or the proposed law in the 18th Congress. The low-pressure area affecting the country was last located west-northwest of Itbayat, Batanes. Meanwhile, the southwest monsoon is affecting the western sections of northern and central Luzon. Ilocos region, Bataan and Zambales will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to the southwest monsoon. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have party cloudy to cloudy skies and possible isolated rain showers or thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. U.S. judge rejected Amber Heard's demand for a new trial. On Wednesday, a Virginia judge rejected actress Amber Heard's demand for a new trial in the defamation case where she lost against her former husband, actor Johnny Depp. The lawyers of the Aquaman actress had requested Judge Penny Escarte to set aside the verdict of the $10 million award to the Pirates of the Caribbean star and declare a mistrial, but the judge denied the appeal. Heading on to sports, Sky Soto signed with Wasserman Talent Agency. After being undrafted in the NBA 2022 draft recently, Filipino professional basketball player Guy Soto has signed with a renowned sports marketing and talent agency in the U.S. The Wasserman Media Group welcomed Soto in an Instagram post late Wednesday night. Some of the Wasserman athletes were top-caliber NBA stars such as Russell Westbrook, Clay Thompson, Derrick Rose, Brooke Lopez, and Alex Caruso. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.